Stephen, how much did the, uh, the tackling which came against England play a part in uh, today's game? Um. Yeah, again, I, I just think uh, I just think Australia's performance today was, uh, you know, was uh, nothing short of outstanding. I, I didn't think we, um, you know, we just couldn't get ourselves, you know, into the contest, you know. And I just thought the, uh, you know, the pressure that they mounted, you know, we we're hanging on there. But you know, some of their their last tackle finishes, you know, they came up with with points, particularly in that first half. So. Um, yeah, I, I thought their, their their performance was pretty faultless, to be fair. But um, you know, so they gave us a real lesson today. How's Roger? And was there any element of gambling? There's a sense, or we we think there's probably a, you know a hairline fracture there. You know, we've done all the relevant tests, got them X-rayed and scanned and whatever at the front end of the week, and there was you know nothing wrong with him there. But um, you know, he, he in his first carry, he heard a you know heard a crack. Um, so, uh, you know, which is pretty unfortunate. You, it does throw your line up out when you've got to replace a winger. How much did they follow up in Well, you know, again, I, I think they would have been certainly, you know, looking to, you know, target that edge. You know, I think England had a, had a bit of success there last week. Um, so, it does, you know, when you replace a winger in any, you know, um, contest, it's um, it's it's hard because you you don't have a winger sitting on the bench. You got to shuffle shuffle lads around and um, sort of you know put a makeshift uh, centre out in the centres, and your winger goes uh, your centre goes on the wing. So straight away it throws you know throws that edge out of it. So why are you now to get into the game? Do you think it's a player out there? Um, yeah, I know we played very well. Um, we uh, probably um, you know, went away from our strength, which is going through the middle of support. We sort of seen a lot of one-out runners, and they were slowing us down pretty good. Uh, we had the ball, they, uh, um, you know, we're troubling our defence, and uh, we're far too loose through the middle, and sort of burned us out for when we had to put the ball back, and yeah, a few of our. You know, a few times we were playing the ball on the sideline on last tackle, trying to get a kick away. And, you know, then you get a poor kick away, and it's just more pressure on us. So um, they definitely uh, played a good game you know, in that first half. <laughs> they really built them for the second half. If you played against Australia, we haven't played that well. Oh, they were always always play well. I mean, you don't even get a bad game against them. We just, um, I think you know, we completed a lot of a lot of ball in the first half, but. Quite smart enough with it. Um, they, I think they didn't make any errors and um, had a lot of good running. So it makes it hard, but you still got to back yourself to go with them, and they couldn't quite do that. Simon, I think they've gone 404 minutes without conceding a try. But you played against a better defensive side than that at any level, or are they up there? Or what? Um, yeah, you know, they defended very well. Um, we. Probably didn't threaten them a hell of a lot throughout the game. We didn't really get into too good a field position too many times. But you know that's credit on their you know, defence on us coming out of yardage also. Um, so like I said, they, they played very well. Simon, was there the occasion when you get to the side? I'm not too sure. Uh, you know, probably a pretty average start from us, but we hung in there. Um, I think it was two all for a while, or eight two, and they sort of scored. Along for half time, it's still very much in the game. And <coughs> yeah, I'm not too sure, but I know the guys are up for it and they're excited, and you know, it might be a good lesson. Was that try just after half time? Did it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty pretty disappointing and um, probably summed up the, the rest of the game for us. Steve, is there a sense that you could have done any more? Well, again, in terms of you know the, the tournament itself, I don't, I don't think there is. Um, you know, when you turn up today and you know, the Australian side play the way they do, you know, you know we had you know we had to bring our best game today, and you know I don't you know I, I know we didn't do that. Australia certainly didn't allow us to you know to play like that, and uh, the way they played, you know, took a lot of that out of us. Um, you know, as Simon said, you know we didn't threaten them at all. You know, with the footy in the first half. Um, you know, which is you know which we needed to, and um, you know, so from you know from that 
perspective, you know, if, if, if you don't, if, if we weren't going to bring our best game today against Australia, then you know it was always going to be tough. And you know that, that's as that's as good as I've seen them play. Oh, you know, all, all, all the tries in the first half. Um, and you know, I think a couple of tries in the second half, you know, were the same. So, you know, that that's a you know that's a significant you know uh, part of you know um, you know why you know why we uh, didn't win the contest. You know, when they're kicking the footy and you know having easy. Um, I thought Billy's try, you know, we just didn't read it well the first try. Some of the other ones were maybe a little lucky, but you know, you earn your luck. Um, but yeah, so they're. Uh, big plays. Do you think it was part of the game plan to kick and first and kick so you know all the middle when they first? Well, you know, look, looking at it, you know, look pretty obvious. So. Simon, do you have anything to say to the whanau at home? Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long time since I've been here, so it's been a while. Yeah, I guess it's uh, just as disappointing for them as us. Um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people back home got up to watch the game and had high, ex high expectations like we did. So um, yeah, it's probably just uh, just as hard on them as it is on us. And um, yeah, just yeah, disappointed really. Stephen, so many expectations. Have you had a difficult afternoon there today? Yeah, I, you know, I don't, I don't think you could fault his effort today um, you know he, he was trying and you know this you know skipper along you know alongside me here too you know I don't think you know um, you're gonna uh, sort of pick guys out of out of our group um, and their contribution in terms of effort you know you know both of them you know tried their you know tried their hearts out all all day to be fair yeah you know, some of the stuff didn't come off but the um, you know, that's something he wants to try and make an impact on the game and you know he, he uh, he was doing that right to the end. Um, I couldn't tell you that for sure, but um, you know, it doesn't. He didn't. You know, he, he knew straight away. Whereas last week it was, you know, it wasn't quite the same. And during the week he's been running, you know, during the week. So um, um, I, I will take him for some scans, you know, probably tomorrow. But it doesn't look good for him. You saw a player who tried to smash into the uh, advertiser board and get the hit. Were you worried about that thing? Was it worse that way? Was it? You know, it was a concern, and I actually thought at training yesterday that they probably um, should have had some pads down towards the back. But um, yeah, well, I couldn't say it was high on my priority list to you know put some pads at the end of the end, end of the end goal. It is the biggest, um, obviously, a terrific stadium, but, but is the playing area big enough behind at either end for uh, a game of this stand? <coughs> Oh, you know, oh, oh, I think it did. You know, challenges, you know, challenges the kickers to put it in the right spot, and um, you know, there's obviously a little bit of danger with um, you know, sliding off the back there. But I'm sure if you ask the players, they much rather play out there. That's for sure. Money is all right. My name's good, yeah. Stephen, what have you told the players since the loss got together? Yeah, it's, I think you know, in the circumstances, it's a bit you know, it's a bit hard to talk footy you know with them now. They you know they're very very disappointed. Um, you know, for me, it was about you know you know soaking in you know as, as hurtful as the experience is. Is it's about you know you know taking you know taking that experience and saying you know okay, if you want to be in a you know black and white jersey in four years' time back here, you know. Um, you know what Australia put up today. You know that's what it's. You know that's what it's going to take in another four years' time. So if you want to be part of this group, um, you know what to do to try and get back here. So uh, again, you know, with the the effort from the guys over the last six weeks, the contribution that you know all of them have made, and um, you know the staff. It, you know, it's it's a tough old game when you you know you get no reward for for it. But um, you know that's why we. That's why we're in the business. Stephen, a lot of New Zealand teams when they come over here on tours don't necessarily always have a happy camp. How's this one been? Not always what, sorry? It's not always, you know, not always a happy camp and they don't particularly perform, haven't performed that well in the past. But how's this camp been? Have you found it? Yeah. It's probably been our, you know, our best um, camp, well certainly that I've been involved with whilst we've come over here and um, 
in saying that it's probably been more challenging than the ones in the past because you know we've come over and it's only been a four week campaign whereas you know this one's you know six seven weeks and uh, it has been a real challenge trying to keep them out of mischief and you know um, entertained so um, uh, but no they, you know they've enjoyed each other's company we always uh, enjoy each other's company and you know, to see them hurting the way they are um, you know, I know it means a lot to them, you know, being part of this uh, part of this group. Can you tell us how, you know, I suppose how much they heard some of the guys in the dressing room what their reactions were? Oh, you know. You just have to look at his yeah, yeah. face. No, I mean. no okay, you know, they are, you know, they you know, obviously there's a few tears in there and there's you know, there's um, but you, you just you know, you don't you just look at their body language, you know, you guys there that are uh, um, yeah, they just, you know, again, all the effort and all the, you know, energy that you put into something for six weeks and you get no reward for it, you know, it's a very empty feeling. Although, obviously, today has been the ground you've played at, the crowds, the games you've been involved in, been a good tournament for the game as well? I like your type of work there. Yeah? Um, no, I reckon it's been wonderful. You know, I really do. I think it's been a real credit to the, you know, the to the English game and the way they've organised it, and um, in the type of football that's been played. Um, you know, the crowds that have turned up. You know, every every uh, game that we've had, you know, it's pretty it's pretty pretty much full, and um, we've been well received. Both teams, uh, whoever we've played against, have been well received, and so I, I couldn't fault it. To be fair.